a Saturday, May 11th, High West Chili Garden. Quick update before I get started on um, repotting some more of these. Looks like they've uh, adjusted nicely since the other day. I don't see any burning. And uh, starting to get some new growth already. Not leaning over or anything. Look at that one. There's some burning on these, so I guess we got more light over here. That's what burning looks like. The leaves get a little bit light. Those are usually the leaves that are have not adjusted to the light. They're used to the darker, darker photo period. The newer leaves uh, are usually adjusted as soon as they grow. You can see that on the new leaves there, there's no burning. All right, so they're coming along nicely. I'm gonna do about six or eight of these today. I'll show you the pots. Wow, look at those. Okay, let me show you these other pots I'm planted today. They're a little bit larger. I used all the smaller ones last time. Most of them at least. And uh, these are gonna be the pots that I'm using today. A little bit bigger. Probably twice as big. So we'll see what we can do. I brought these out um, the day before yesterday. One of them I brought out yesterday. These are the ones that I'm gonna repot. There's uh, three, six of those. And I'll check the windows for what else I need to bring out today. If I have any leftover pots. I hear two more that I put on the stairs to get them out of the direct sun because they were a little bit smaller than the other ones on the side there. I forgot about these. These are from the other day too. So uh, it's a little windy today. I think I said it was like 53 degrees right now. A little bit after 11. It's probably going to get warmer. The sky's clearing up. Let's take a look. It's still a bit cloudy and windy. My neighbors are out there pressure washing, so it's about loud. I definitely want to get these lanky ones out of here. This one, this one over here. I may leave the bushy ones in the window for a few more days until I can um, get some pots established. Some more soil I'm about to run out. Probably didn't run out, but I gotta get some more together. Anyway. I'm gonna start with the lanky ones to set those outside so they can get some real sun and some real air and some wind. It's Tuesday, May 14th. Just taking a quick look at the Carolina Reapers. And this window, they seem to like it. They're all getting a little tall, but still um, staying up. Uh, the leaves are wide, so they're not getting too lanky. And look, there's some new ones popping up all of a sudden. And you notice how now that it's more sunny, more uh, light time during the year, the leaves are coming out a little bit differently. So now the initial leaves are starting out a little bit wider. They actually look like peppers instead of uh, really thin um, narrow leaves okay just wanted to show you that I almost went to a quick look at the ones that I put outside the other day last week whatever the end of last week then I never got around to repotting so we can see how the outdoor conditions affected those quick look the ones I put out first are doing better. I need some water. These I put out yesterday 
Or not yesterday, but the end of last week. End of last week. Things were prior to that. So yeah, even though it's cold the last couple of days, well, in the 50s, in the daytime, they're still doing fine. Before I go back inside, quick look at the ones that I repotted to the smaller pots last week. We're actually looking at both because the, uh, the ones that I repotted last week, these are the overwinter ones. The ones that I repotted last week are, I see some bog damage on those. This one too. Let's post this bug in damage. That one looks a little chewed up. They really got that one. Bugs or birds or something. Once they get going, nothing's gonna wanna bother them. The rest uh, are doing even better. Hear the birds. Like I said, last couple days were in the 50s during the day, so a little chilly. But, uh, feels great today. It's about this guessing. Feels like a 70. You can almost hear the weather. Hear the warmness in the air. the one that I ripped a limb off. It was like this. I guess it was down here. I went to rip a whole leaf and rip the whole damn limb off. So we're off to a decent start. I'll show you the last few we have inside. I only have one left in this window so might as well go ahead and get it out before I neglect it or something. We'll add it to this bunch. You can see my um, birds have been uh, having a little fun again. Wow, they got a little rambunctious, just little suckers. Anyway, I'm gonna put these out of their misery and get them outside before my birds destroy them completely. I've had some, like this one over here. I mean, a lot of worse things too, but they survived and it's alive, it's coming back. I still haven't separated these. I need to get this done. Oh, they need some water, it's feeling a little light. You see none of them are, are uh, tilting yet, or wilting. I see my wilty leaf in there, leaf in there. But yeah, get that some water. Last bunch of them in this other window up here. Last bunch, upstairs window. So they're not hitting it in the window. This one was tilting this morning. I gave it a little bit of water. So, they're doing okay in the window. They're doing a little thriving, not just surviving. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get those dump them downstairs out of that window in the kitchen. Cause my parakeets are getting a little bit too happy with those. So I made up a batch of soil with some more used soil and some perlite. Get these available pots filled up. Had a couple extras there. I'll get to those when I get some more soil. <clears throat> if 
for now. There's a little bit of variety in the pot size. I guess we'll see what difference that makes here shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, transplanted, the ones that I took out of the window last week. And uh, if I have any extra pots, I'll grab some more from the window and get those repotted. It is about to rain. This it feels like it has been for the last few hours. I just felt a few sprinkles on my back. You need a little rain right now. <clears throat> it's been raining every few days. It hasn't rained in a couple days. Yesterday it was really cloudy, but it didn't come down. I'll just put a few more sprinkles. What I came out here to do is to water some of these. Now I think I'm just gonna wait and see what nature does. So this is what we ended up with today. It may look like a big change, but trust me, you haven't missed anything. I just repotted the ones uh, you saw me in that previous section there. And a couple more that were sitting on the stairs I brought over. Even though it's sprinkling right now, it's been threatening rain for the last few days. Some of these are still see the area where the soil is getting dry. I feel a little bit better for get and give you some water from a rain barrel. See the leaves start to droop down like this when they need water. This one is pretty light. And definitely the ones that I repotted. And some of the ones that were sitting back closer to the wall here really dry like this one in particular look at that soil it is some moisture in there I can feel the rain coming on my down on my head right now let's see if you can pick up some of these raindrops So I'm going to take a quick break here and uh, fill up this container with a water barrel and give these a little drink each. Some nutrients from the leaves and the gutters. It fills up pretty quick. I repot it first. They're gonna need some adjustments. See the water just go directly saturate the soil. That's how you can tell they're really dry. Hear that rain? I 
to see the water droplets. I think some of the ones back here, that one sunburned, got chewed up by some bugs or some birds. I'm gonna move it down here until it gets a little bigger. That one's still okay. I'm still gonna move it down there. Look at the one behind there. That's why I moved it to here. I think it likes that light. This one's not bad either. That was a lanky when I put a stick. That's the only one I have a stick on. Okay, this is a new one. And, uh, got one more there, so I need a refill. Dog. All right, so I'm gonna work on the rest of these. Make sure they're watered best I can for today, and get the next specs next specs ready for repotting. I have to prepare the soil, so that's probably the next thing we're gonna do. I might use these three. I guess I should. I need to prepare the soil so hey I'm probably gonna go get some new pots some more of these or some more of those just to make sure I have enough large pots I'm gonna use some old coffee containers also I've saved quite a few of those and this is where the soil is going to be coming from. I'm going to use this crate to uh, shovel the soil and, and separate it. Add some fur light. That's what we're using right now. That's what we're going to be using for the rest of these. Hopefully, I don't have to buy any. So, I readjusted the repotted ones that I just watered. So they're not all leaning over in the pots. Got them situated really nicely, so now I'm going to water down the larger pots so I don't have to end up using a hose later. I'll have this all set up. And then when I'm done, I just remove that. now. Wow. 